Good day YouTube. This is a bit of a comparison video between Ubuntu 20.04, latest release on the left, and Linux Mint 19.3, also latest release on the right. Now it wasn't necessarily a video I wanted to do because Linux uh, Mint 19.3 on the right, it is actually about to upgrade to Linux Mint 20, so this video will be deprecated within about a month or two. But anyway, since we're here, we'll give it a, a bit of a red hot go. And we'll start off with uh, some of the uh, basic information here. So load up a few things here and see how we go. But uh, basically we have Ubuntu, yeah, Linux Mint, good as we can see. One is running on the GNOME desktop interface, quite common amongst uh, Linux environments. So Ubuntu using GNOME. So you'll see it does look a little bit different. Uh, Fedora uses this, Manjaro uses this. Many operating systems use it. It's quite a functional operating system. I do like it, or should I say desktop environment. And then on the uh, left, we have Linux Mint 19.3. Uh, recently, uh, well, it's been using Cinnamon for a very, very long time. Uh, but it's uh, yeah recently become very functional, very Windows 10-esque. That's something I do like about it there as well. So pretty cool in that way there. Uh, now next up, we'll have a little bit of a look at the file managers and see what's the go here. So they're both very functional, very useful file managers here. On the left, we've got what's called Files or Nautilus, a long-standing file manager, like I say, very useful on the Ubuntu side. And uh, the uh, Linux Mint 19.3 side is uh, uses uh, Nemo. So it's a, you could call it a variant, uh, similar if not the same. Not quite exactly, but uh, there you go. But still, yeah, they do the same basic things, so they are quite good there. Uh, I do really enjoy the, the the dark mode on Ubuntu 20.04, as you can see. It's uh, pretty cool, pretty nice, so something that I hope you guys like too there. Next up, if we are to move across to having a look at the kernels, now, interestingly, you'll find that they are having very, very similar, uh, well, actually, sorry, not very similar kernels. The Ubuntu is based on the latest release, or the base, which is also 20.04, but Linux Mint is actually based on 18.04 for the most part, the base, uh, Bionic Beaver it was called. So, um, older kernel components, some of them, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit uh, stable though, a little bit more stable. Perhaps some would argue, but I won't get into that in my coffee and fit here. Uh, we'll have a look at some of the apps and we'll see. So you will see a lot of the apps for, you know, accessories, graphics, internet, web browsers, office apps, LibreOffice. They all do have the same basic types of apps, but not something that I want to uh, get into too much because you can install the apps on either machine, whatever you really want to do there. They are based off the same base after all. And uh, if we were to have a just a little bit of a look at the, the RAM usage for both of them. So... On the left and the right, very, very similar. Maybe a little bit of RAM straight off the bat. Now these are just both booted up, so a little bit less RAM there, which is nice to see, and a little bit more RAM. So 687 giga, uh, megabytes of RAM on boot up and 624, so maybe a little bit lighter there. So all in all, they are both very good operating systems. I would recommend both of them. They are quite nice, but... Um, I'll be definitely doing a follow-up video in the next month or two uh, with a better comparison between Ubuntu 20.04 and Linux Mint 20 when it comes out. It's very, very hidden. It's in al uh, beta or even alpha, actually, at the moment. So we'll see how things go. But thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, all of those nice things. And yeah, I appreciate your time. And we'll see you for the next one.